Hey everybody, Mr. Chris here. I am going to show off some of my tools and hardware and I'm going to practice on this board. Okay, so the first tool I have is a hammer. Now a hammer has a long handle for you to grab onto it. It has a head that you can use to hit things and it has a claw that you can use to pry them back out of the board. So, you use a hammer with a nail. This is my nail, as you can see. It is very smooth on the sides, but it has a sharp tip. So, you don't wanna get hurt, so if you are using real nails, make sure you're doing it with adult supervision. But this is how we use a hammer and a nail. You're going to set your nail into the board. You're going to hold it steady in place and give it a whack with the hammer. You go up and you come down on the head. Three, usually ought to do it, three hits, but let's give it a few more. Now, the nail will stay in without my fingers around it, and that's a good thing because I want to be able to take my fingers away so that as the nail goes deeper and deeper and deeper into the wood, my fingers don't get hit by the hammer. So I'll continue now, holding the work piece, holding the board, but not holding the nail. As you can see, the nail is going in and pretty soon it will be flat against the top of the board there we go now if I want to pry it out I'll have to work pretty hard now because it's stuck in there pretty deep so I'll show you with another one here we go same thing give it a few hits to set it into the wood Take your finger away, your hand away, hold it somewhere else, and continue hitting with the hammer. And what if you decide, oh, it's in the wrong spot. I don't want it there. I want to move it somewhere else. Take your claw, drag it in to the nail, like that, see? And pull. And it will come out. There we go. Then you can try again somewhere else, as long as you haven't bent your nail. Now my nail is still pretty straight, so in it goes, and again. Take your hand away. And... There we go. That's how you hammer. Now, this one might be a little trickier. This is a screwdriver. It has a point that you can use to turn screws because it fits inside of them like this. Like that. Now, you might notice that my screw is a little bit different from my nail. It has threads so that it can bite into the wood and pull itself along as you turn it. I've pre-drilled some holes in my wood, so I have a place for the screw to go. Same thing, same start. I'm going to hold with my fingers in place where I want it to go. Now, the screwdriver goes down into the head of the screw, and I'm going to give it a turn. A few turns, and the screw won't move on its own. Now, I can hold the work piece the piece of wood and continue turning and there will be less and less and less of the screw visible as it gets deeper and deeper into the wood. Now, you can't really see it from there, but if I turn it sideways, there it is. Okay, now if I want to take it out, all I have to do is turn the other way. 
That can be hard to get started, but it'll get easier. The more you turn it. There we go. And as long as you haven't bent your screw as you're putting it in the wood, it'll be nice and straight and you can use it again somewhere else. All right, so there you have it. That is how you use a hammer with a nail and how you use a screwdriver with a screw. See you later.